Hello friends, welcome to freeposition.com and this is my new project, the coolest project, the mini eBay. And this is not like eBay, this is online, uh, an online auction website where there are three roles. Okay, first of all, the technology, I have developed this project in Java, JSP and database, I, which I am using in MySQL. And for connecting the database from the MySQL server, I am using the MySQL J connector, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. And for front end part, I'm using the HTML, CSS and the bootstrap theme. So this is the bootstrap theme and it works very well on your tab and the mobile devices means this is totally responsive web applications. So you can see this is really a very cool theme which I have used. And the concept of this project uh, is for the auction website. That's why I, uh, I said the title of the project is the mini eBay. And here there are three types of roles. The first role is the admin who is responsible for uh, performing each and every operations. And the second one is a uh, seller and the third one is the customer. So what's the concept is the admin will be able to perform each and every operations and seller will register on the website and he will upload his project, the uh, products and on that, on that product, the customer will register and go at, um, customer will register and bid on that product and if that seller accept that bid then uh, that uh, customer bid will be accepted and he will get the project product so this is the concept of this pro uh, project okay so let's start the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project and you can see this is a really uh, cool slider so you can change the image from just replacing the image into the folder and this is so you can see this is the this this all products are coming from the database so what the product will you enter you enter in the database uh, from the backend panel all the product will be displayed here and if you click on the pro product then it uh, the product details will be displayed here okay so let's go through one by one so this is the home page of the project this is the slider and then this is the about us page of the mini eBay project this is an online auction website right and this is all products so all the products which has been added by the seller will be displayed here and if you click on that product then that product details will be displayed and then the register register as a customer you so there are two there are three types of login okay as a customer as a seller or as an admin so admin will not be able to register, right? Admin will be able to log in only and admin will be able to create more admins also, right? So, so uh, you are registering as a customer. So these are the customer fields or registering as a seller. So you can see the fields of both of the forms are totally different. Okay, there are more details. We are asking for the seller registration and the customer registration, we are asking the very less details, right? And then after that, you can see there are three types of login to the uh, login system. So admin login and then the seller login and then the customer login. Right. And this is the contact us page. So you can see I have also added the Google map here. So you can uh, set the map, uh, set the uh, set your address on the Google map here. And this will work only and only you have internet connection on your laptop because ZMAP doesn't work offline on the website, right? Okay, so I'm going to log in as an admin user. So this is the admin. This is the admin dashboard. So what the admin can perform? This is admin will be able to add customers, add system users, add products, and he will be able to see the system user report. System user means the more admin, right? and the customer report, product report, and the project bits, change password, and the logout, right? And then these all menus are available also here. So there is no need to come on the dashboard again and again. Just go and click on that menu and that menu, that form will be open. So this is the add customer page. So admin will be able to add more customers and then add system user page. So admin will be able to add more system admins who will be able to manage the things of that application right this is the add product page so admin will be able to add the products and that product belongs to which seller he will be able to choose from here and this 
drop downs all the drop downs are dynamic means the value of these drop downs are coming from the database so if you want to change the value of the drop down or if you want to change anything the text or delete the drop down then you can do it easily from the mysql and then add seller form so admin will be able to add the seller information also this is the report section where admin will be able to see the information of the employee so this is the edit form and if you click on the uh, uh, form then that edit form will be open and you uh, the admin will be able to update the things from here this is the customer report so edit customer and admin will be able to update the customer details from here also so this one is a product report so this is the edit and then save product and then seller report so this is the seller report from where admin will be able to up, update the informations okay and then the product bits so these are the product bits okay so that has been placed by the customers right so admin will be able to see all the products bits here right and then my account section the change password and the logout okay so this is the functionality of the admin now i am logging as a seller so this is the seller for i'm going to find the seller details so so this is the seller username and password test so you can see uh, the dashboard of admin is different than the seller because this is a totally session based system and this dashboard is coming according to the role and permissions of that user right so seller uh, can perform only this uh, functionality of the project uh, inside the project right and so this is the uh, ad uh, seller dashboard and seller will be able to perform these all menus are available here also this is the add product so seller will be able to add his product and the product bits he will be able to see his bits so currently there are three bits and all are in the accepted state right so if if customer makes any bits on the product then the, there there will be two things seller will accept or not right then i will show you that and the product report so this is the all the product of that seller only okay and seller will be able to update the uh, product details from here also right and then uh, my account and the logout section okay so this mm, the next one is the customer login so i am logging as a customer so this is the customer dashboard so you can see if you compare all of the dashboard then all of the dashboards are little bit different right there are some extra functionality in admin there are very less functionality in seller and there are very less functionality in the customer right because these dashboards are coming according to the role and permission of that user okay so customer will be able to see the products and after that customer will be able to see the product details right and i am entering that there is a 7499 then 18000 for this one at and bid for this project product so it's saying that you have already bid this bid for this product right so customer will be able to bid only once okay this are, this is online auction system so customer will be able to bid only once for any of the product right and he will be able to see the product bids so you can see there are three items and three are accepted and the fourth one is not accepted right it's in pending state and in red background right so this is the my account section and the logout now i am going to log in as a seller and see that bit is available or not okay product my product base wait i think the that is for other uh seller right so i will have to look into that this one and the seller name is put point software limited right so i am logging with
I'm login as a seller and with that details now product product bit so it's here okay and click on accept so already accepted okay so this is the process so what will be there okay customer will come on the website and he will be able to register after that he will see the list of the product details and he will be able to bid on the project products Cust seller will uh, log into the system Cust uh, seller will be able to add the products seller will be able to see all the bits details and after that uh, seller will accept that bits right so this is the whole process of this project okay so if you need more functionality in this project then please put it into the comments i will enhance my project according to your need and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeproject.com thanks thanks for watching the video thank you very much